Hi there, and warm welcome to the channel. You're watching some stunning footage captured last summer, and if you're wondering why the resolution doesn't feel as good as 4K, which I usually use in the recent months, it's because this actually is a recording of a projector. Let me tell you more about the pocket-sized Apeman M4. Welcome to the channel, my name is Michael and I'm so glad to see you around. This review is about a highly portable pocket size projector that can help you to do a lot. Business meeting outdoors with the need to show some slides to your guests? Take it out of the pocket, connect the PC and go for it. Or go for a walk to a place with no TV and watch the football game you don't want to miss? Two typical examples of how this little projector could be used. Apeman is a company that manufactures a lot of different products, most of which are related to video capturing or projecting, and from their portfolio have already tested and reviewed their most reputable camera, the Apeman Travo. The M4 projector is something that they have released more than a year ago, and for that whole time there are a lot of positive opinions in the reviews of every website selling it, so I thought of testing it myself. Priced at 199 US dollars or euro, it definitely is not cheap, but it's not too expensive either. The box is quite nice, and while this is not a premium product, the feeling is quite close and suggests attention to the detail. Looks like the set of accessories has slightly changed in the recent months, and what I got is a different tripod, which looks to be more compact, but I'm not sure if it is as stable as the one Apeman were providing with the early units. With a size of almost 10 by 10 centimeters, it is indeed highly portable. Port availability rather good, with the power button and the volume buttons on one of the sides, and these are the cheapest looking from all. Audio out, HDMI in, a USB port and micro USB port on the other side. The USB port can be used for getting power. Yeah, backed by 3400 mAh battery, this device can be also used as a power bank. And if you have larger speakers, you can connect them using this 3.5mm jack. Concerning the optics and illumination, brightness is up to 100 lumens and output resolution up to 480p. You can input full HD, however it won't look as good when projected. Aspect ratio is 16 by 9, so it is the same as most current TVs. Recommendation is to use it at sizes between 30 to 100 inches, and in short, the closer you are to the projecting surface and the darker it is in the room, the better the image tends to look. No zooming possible, so moving the device back and forth is the way to go. Keep in mind that the supplied HDMI cable is rather short and could easily turn into a limiting factor. I recently got this awesome 10 meter HDMI 18 gigabit cable by Fizzlink supporting 4K at 60 frames per second and also HDR10 and HDCP 2.2, pity that I won't be able to use its full potential with this projector. In complete darkness, because of the relatively high contrast, you may think you're watching a low-cost LCD screen with bad resolution, but at light areas the lack of ANSI power is notable and especially projected on a white wall during the day, details are barely visible. Cool feature is that there's an integrated speaker at 1W. Here's a test playing the same thing on a smartphone. From what you see, you're gonna be right to say that the image quality is rather okay. This is because the device supports DLP digital light processing, it is beaming the light through a color wheel, then reflection mirrors and then the lens. My personal opinion, for a pocket beamer this is a good one. Polished, good looking, highly portable, like most other good portable devices, it deserves to have a carrying pouch or small portable case, which unfortunately Apeman won't provide. Remote controller is missing as well. You notice that I've shown a lot of scenes in more dynamic environments where you don't have special projecting screens, because that's the point of being portable, not to be dependent on heavy and bulky add-ons. The Aman M4, however, has tough competition from the well-specced, white-labeled and no-name Chinese beamers, which sometimes include slim light and droid and some extra features. With small, sleek and modern design, more than 
two hours playback capability, surprisingly good speakers, which however outdoors are barely usable, and the sub $200 price tag, the 8-man's projector may attract both home users and even some business clients. However, definitely not as good as a full HD TV screen. Good to see that ever since it was released, the device keeps on getting positive feedback, which is praising the quality, and it is a nice fit to every tech geek's collection at a reasonable price, undercutting some fancy sounding names, offering not too much better specs. I'm soon gonna test some other portable beamers, so do let me know if you would like to learn more about a model in particular. And as always, for questions, ideas and experience to share, make sure to join the conversation in the comments below the video. Thank you very much for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one.